Yo guys, welcome back to our video, but so today we're going to be predicting the Raptors and Celtics series. As you guys, if you guys didn't know, I'm a Celtics fan and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to be unbiased with this prediction, bro. But yeah, bro, let's get straight into a prediction. But just before getting into a prediction, make sure you guys like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are already, bro. We're going to be re doing reactions to all the Celtics and Raptors game. The whole series, we're going to be doing reactions to it. So uh, just subscribe to the channel for that and as well as for other NBA playoffs content. And let's get straight into the prediction. So, um... Celtics, we obviously have um Haywood injured. He's the big player that's injured for us, bro. Um, I'm not sure of any other like proper players that are injured for us. I think Robert Williams, he's always injured, but I don't think he's injured. Uh, who else? Haywood, he's obviously injured. Uh, we got Kemba, he's fit. I don't think he's out, he's on a minute restriction anymore. I think since the playoffs started, he has not been in a minute restriction. Tatum, ho hopefully. Um, he's going to be all good throughout the series. Jalen Brown as well, bro. Uh, he's hopefully the whole series we can go the whole series without any more injuries, bro. I think for both teams that'll be very good. Just because both of these two teams, are, bro, both of them are very, very good. Now the Celtics did versus the Raptors in the bubble, and the Celtics destroyed them. But I think we beat them by like 30 points, something like that, bro. Uh, I'm going to end up talking about the Raptors in a bit, so do just stay tuned for that. All you guys can just skip ahead to that. Uh, but yeah, bro. We've been pretty good in the bubble, obviously, we've got sixes. We beat the sixes, obviously, in four games. Very, very easy, if I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Um, sixes did not really put up a challenge, bro. I know some of the games were pretty close, but I think at the end of the day, um, to be fair, bro, it just looks like we easily beat them, bro. It too, I don't know why. Like, what happened, bro? I know Ben Simmons is very good, but, like, even if they had Ben Simmons, like, what kind of... It wouldn't be that big of a difference. Maybe Celtics in five, potentially even six games. But I still think Celtics would have ended up still destroying the sixes, bro. You know, as we always do, we always freaking end up destroying the Sixers. Now we're going to move on to Raptors. They obviously destroyed the Nets. I think everyone thought they would. Um, some people thought maybe it might go five to six games. The Celtics, uh, the Raptors and Nets series. But I, I, bro, I mean, personally, I thought, yeah, Raptors in four. Or um, potentially, maybe even five. Maybe, maybe. Um, but yeah, Raptors took care of business against the Brooklyn Nets. But obviously, without Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Freaking without Crawford as well, I know, I don't know why Crawford hasn't been playing for Brooklyn. I don't know why they picked him up. They're not gonna play him. But anyways, bro, they obviously ended up destroying the um, Raptors. I think in, in the game four they had like 150 points. Raptors freaking and then the bench. Apparently, a few of you guys said the bench had a hundred points. Hundred points to the bench, bro. In a playoff series, bro, that is actually unbelievable. But we have to give credit to Raptors because obviously Kawhi left and. They've still been one of the best teams in the East, like, but it's not even like you have to give credit to the whole organization and uh, like the fans, the, the the people who bring in, who do the trades and all that. But you have to give credit to them. Freaking hell, but you have to give credit obviously to the place. Yakim, obviously, first the All Star, I'm pretty sure he was. Uh, you got Larry, still Larry, you know. Um, who else? Van Vliet, Van, I freaking love Van Vliet, bro. He's a proper scorer, bro. You got Ibaka, you got Marcus Sol, you got uh, Nick Powell. You got CJ, wait, what was his name? CJ, I think his name is CJ, the, I think he's, he's from the UK. Bro. So these freaking Raptors have just been unbelievable. You got Thomas, he's a good shooter. A lot of you guys told me about Thomas, bro. Now we're going to go over and predict it. I think, bro, I think it could go either way. I do think it could go either way. Um, I think at least, at least it'll go six games. At least, bro. I'll be so shocked if one team wins it by five or four, especially by four. By five, I'll still be shocked as well. Um, but if it goes six or seven games, I'll not be shocked. I'm expecting it to go to six or seven games, bro. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be obviously predicting a Celtics win. I'm going to be predicting Celtics in seven. I think this series is going to go to seven games. Um, if I had to predict, yeah, I, would, I am going to predict the Celtics are going to go through. I'm obviously a bit biased. Obviously, I'm a Celtics fan, but I'd obviously not be surprised if the Raptors do end up winning it, bro. And they do end up going through to the conference final to face either the Heat or the Bucks, bro. But yeah, in my opinion, Celtics, Raptors, I think, me personally, bro, I think Celtics will end up going through, bro. As I said before, we did end up versing them in the bubble and we did destroy them. That doesn't really mean anything, bro, but at the same time, there's obviously no fans now. I know there's virtual fans, but you know, it's not really like proper fans, you know? I'm just saying Celtics, bro. I'm a bit biased, but I'm saying so. Obviously, if it goes to seven games, obviously any team can end up winning it. Um, if Raptors end up winning it, again, as I said before, I'm not going to be surprised. If Celtics end up winning it, I'm obviously going to be hyped and not surprised as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping for a good series. I'm hoping for a good series. And yeah, bro, I'm obviously going for um, Celtics win. Put down in the comments down below your predictions. 
And uh, yeah, but just remember it's my opinion and them kind of stuff there. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Follow my Instagram as well. Link in the description. Like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I said before, stay tuned for the reaction video tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and peace.